I don't think the swimming community was prepared for how exciting and fast the 2023 World Swimming Championships were going to be. We're overwhelmed. We've got too many storylines and too many world records, world junior records, European records, American records. I mean, just look at the men's 800 freestyle. I think we actually had like one of each of every record possible, every record we could have outside of a world record. I mean, look at all the two letter acronyms on the right side of that page. So many of them. That race was utterly ridiculous. And I got good news for everybody. We're going to do it again. They're going to do it again. And we're going to see a lot of the same names in the final for that 1500 freestyle. Yeah, that's right. We're doubling it. The 800 was one of the best races I've ever seen. And we're going to do it again. Double the distance. Men's 1500 coming up. Buckle up. But what happens when you have so many insane swims to keep up with is you have to kind of create a priority list for your excitement. You have to kind of prioritize your excitement because we only have so much excitement to give. But I think what happened with this swim is we were just overwhelmed because I can't think of any other reason, any other reason that 16 year old Thomas Heilman isn't on the front page of every single newspaper in the country. I can't think about why Thomas Heilman's swim isn't in the ESPN top 10. Granted, they put Leon Marchand's 400 IM world record at number 10 on the Sports Center top 10. So I guess I'm not all that surprised about that one, but I'm surprised that the president of the United States of America hasn't tweeted about what this kid did in the 200 butterfly. Thomas Heilman broke the 15 to 16 year old national age group record in the 200 butterfly when he took fourth at the 2023 World Swimming Championships. Likely also why, you know, this might not have gotten a lot of buzz is because Heilman missed out. He missed out on getting one of those cool necklaces that signify aquatic accomplishment, also known as a medal. They give him out for the top three and at some meets, some meets they decide to give him out for the entire top eight. But at this meet, it's only the top three. Forget about it, moving on, not important. So he broke the 15-16 national age group record. What's so important about that? He does this all the time, right? Wrong, so wrong. First of all, he broke his own 1516 national age group record, which he previously held and previously broke. He previously broke someone else's. Who was it? Who was the swimmer? Can't remember. Oh, that's right. Michael Phelps. Pretty impressive, right? Yeah. But not as impressive as the fact that Thomas Heilman, remember, 16 years old. 16 year old Thomas Heilman broke the 17 to 18 year old national age group record. 17 to 18, 16 years old. Amazing. Everybody go comment, ooh, ah, because this swim should make you go, ooh, ah. It's what it should do. Quick recap, 15 to 16 national age group record in the 200 butterfly for the boys, gone. 17 to 18 national age group record in the 200 butterfly for the boys, gone. My sleep schedule after world championships have kept me up until midnight and woken me up at five o'clock for the past four days and will continue to do so for the next four days, gone. And one other thing that was almost gone and the thing that makes this swim from 16 year old, remember that, Thomas Howman the most impressive was that he was just 0 0.02 away from taking out the world junior record in the event. And if you're thinking about going down to the comments section and saying anything along the lines of almost doesn't count, congrats, you're right. But context is cool and you can go f now recently world aquatics changed the rules and said that you can break national age group records all the way up until you're 18. And previously, it was only up until you're 17. And the world record we're talking about, the world junior record that we're talking about, was set prior to those guidelines being set into place. But Thomas Hellman is 16 years old, so he's still far younger than the cutoff, even back in those days when, that's right, Christoph Milak of Hungary, the king of the 200 butterfly, set this national age group record. The man who everyone was saying might be the one to break 150.00 in the 200 butterfly. Now, I'm not saying that Thomas Heilman has to go sub 150.00 in the 200 butterfly or his career is a failure. I'm not saying that at all. What I am doing is contextualizing how insane this swim is. These kids are built in laps. This sport is insane. Don't forget to go comment ooh or ah. And if you're feeling crazy, maybe do an ooh ah combo. Thanks for watching. Like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Later. Oh, see ya. Sorry. Ooh.